Hey, Corden Rick, good evening to you. That deadly shooting actually occurred on the street right behind me. Now, the police tape has come down, but detectives are still canvassing the neighborhood tonight. They're hoping that an abundance of surveillance video in the area will lead them to a suspect. Now, neighbors we've been speaking with say that despite stepped up police patrols, the crime around Melrose Avenue is out of control. And we just hear a bunch of bang, bang, bang as we were walking. It's happened again. Another deadly shooting in the Melrose area. It was frightening, really, it really was. A man shot and killed in his parked car on the 700 block of North Orange Grove Avenue. Neighbors reported hearing at least two gunshots around 10:30 Friday night. But it wasn't until about 6:15 that somebody was out walking their dog, and they found the victim vehicle. The victim vehicle was running, and there was a man slumped over inside the car. Nobody called 911 after hearing shots fired. No, that's correct. No one called. Homicide investigators say the victim was a black man in his early 20s who did not appear to be from the Los Angeles area. And while the motive is unknown, police say the victim was found with his wallet and cell phone. There is a family behind this man who I, we feel was shot execution style on our streets. Peter Nichols is the co-founder of Melrose Action, an anti-crime community group. No one called police. Why do you think that is? I know exactly why that is because these sounds of gunshots is so commonplace here, if you can believe that. And so there is apathy to report these kinds of things because of the fact they're so common. Friday's murder happened less than a block away from another shooting last week, the moment caught on surveillance video when two men attempt to rob a store owner at gunpoint for his expensive watch. The victim running for cover as one of the suspects chases after him and opens fire. Fortunately, no one was injured. One suspect was arrested. The other escaped. The latest in a string of violent crimes plaguing this popular shopping and residential neighborhood. Do you feel unsafe in your own neighborhood? Uh, yes. You just got to mind your own business around here. Keep your head down and keep it moving. That's how it is, really. But there's so many stores, there's so many shops. Right, but that's what really sucks about it, is that this is really such a great area. People love coming over here for shopping and everything, but you never know. You never know what could happen. Every time you turn on the news, is someone's getting chased from Melrose, somebody's getting shot, somebody's getting followed home and being robbed for their watches, their, their goods. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. It's really sad what our city has turned into. Police do not have a suspect description or a motive. They're asking anyone who lives in this neighborhood to check their surveillance video footage between the hours of 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. last night and, of course, report anything suspicious. We're live in the Fairfax District. John Finolio, KTLA 5 News.